Creating lists on Twitter are a great way to segregate people you're following and keep an eye on certain market sectors, if you like, or groups of people in similar interests or similar areas without them um, disappearing, their updates disappearing in the main home stream. So if you've got a very busy Twitter account or you've got one or two people that are very, very active, uh, they can soon fill up your, your home screen and you can miss some important updates from other people you want to track. So to create a list from your uh, Twitter page, twitter.com, uh, look for lists on the left hand side here, click on lists and then just down the bottom to the right we have create list click on that and we give our list a name so in this case we're going to go for antiques and we can give it a description people in the antiques industry now we have a choice we can make a list public or we can make it private if we make it public other people will be able to see that list at twitter.com forward slash your username forward slash uh, list name. If you make it private, then only you can see the list. And importantly, people don't know that they're on the list that you're seeing. So this would be useful if you wanted to track competitors or potential clients and keep an eye on what they're actually saying. So in this case, we're going to make the list private. So we hit save list. Now the other benefit of lists is that we don't have to follow people to put them on the list. So if you wanted to find all the people in the antiques industry um, but you didn't necessarily want to follow them we could search for the word antiques up here And we start to find some people um, in or associated with antiques or mentioning antiques. So we've got Alfie's Antique Market as the first one. Now I could follow Alfie's Antique Market and then add him to the list. Or I might want to just add him to the list. To do so, I click on the little um, person icon here. And we go to Add or remove from lists and if your list isn't already created you can create it here if it is created just click on the list that you want to add Alfie's Antiques to and that's it Alfie's Antiques is now added to lists so there we go that's how we create and add someone to a list now if you want to uh, see your lists and see all the people that are on it. Click on the, the, the me icon, brings you back to your uh, home screen, your, your profile screen, and you can click on lists. Click on your list name, and there's all of Alfie's antique market updates. Okay, but as we can see on the profile, still not following anyone. Nobody's following me, and Alfie's Antique Market won't know I'm following them. So some great uses for private lists, but also uh, for open lists as well. You can curate lists of industry leaders and share those lists. Um, so hopefully you'll find that of interest. Any questions, uh, please comment below. Thank you very much.